Hi, I'm Ian Merritt, the staff photographer here at Cars.com, and with the help of this 08 Chevy Malibu, I'm going to walk you through the steps so that you can photograph your car for resale. Now the first thing you're going to need is a working camera, whether it be digital or film, point and shoot or SLR. You're going to need to come up with the exact same product every time, which is clean, crisp photos of your used car. The first thing you should really do is clean up your car. No one in their right mind is going to buy a car that's got soda stains all over the gear shift and is filled with fast food bags. Now that we have a clean car, the most important thing to do is to shoot your car in a shady spot. I prefer to shoot during dusk hours or in the early morning or on a cloudy day. That way you don't get any direct sunlight on the shiny paint job, which then creates aberrations and, and crazy shadows and that's really not what you want. A big misconception of photographing cars is that you need to be as close as possible to the car to make sure that it fills up your camera. You do want to make the car as big as possible within the frame, but you want to be as far back as you can while zooming in your lens. If your camera does not have a zoom, you should stand more than 10 feet away from your car, and in the final photo, you'll have to crop into the edge of the automobile. Here's a great example of proportional distortion caused by the lens. Two shots of the Malibu bumper, one at 24 millimeters and the other at 50 millimeters. This image of the Malibu was shot from up close and the bumper is proportionally much larger than the top of the car. Here is the same image taken from 20 feet away with the lens zoomed all the way in. As you can see, the one from further back is proportionally correct. Here's a good list of shots that you should include with your used car posting. Front three quarter, front, both profiles, rear, front interior, rear interior, engine, and you should always include a shot of the odometer. Now that we've got our six photographs, Let's be honest photographers here and not go in and digitally enhance our photos when we're done with them. Someone's going to know right away if you removed the duct tape that held your bumper on the minute they come and test drive your car. So let's take crisp, clean photographs and keep them, you know, fairly real. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.